Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create tickets for Jira issues. So imagine this, you are a team leader and you are using Jira to create issues for your products. So the idea is that once an issue is generated in Jira, a ticket will be created in Freshdesk so that your team members may work on resolving the issue. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of the issue from Jira sort it out and manually add a ticket in Freshdesk. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new issue is created in Jira, automatically it will add a ticket in Freshdesk. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Jira and Freshdesk. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we are going to begin with a small example. So this is my Jira account. And the idea is that once an issue is created in Jira, it will be reflected as a ticket in your fresh desk. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, I'm going to create an issue. So the name of the issue is uh, Python programming. Python programming error. Okay, so this is a small issue. Okay, so let me just correct the spelling. And the description is the for loop failed due to insufficient brackets. So this is your small description that I have entered. So let me just click on create. Okay, so as you can see, an issue has been created. So let me just look into my fresh desk. Do we have a ticket called python programming or python programming error or something yes we do have the ticket okay python programming error and this uh, error this ticket has been assigned to this person called as mark corbett so this is the whole gist anytime a new issue is created in jira it will be reflected as a ticket in uh, fresh desk so to begin the actual integration process first type pably.com in your browser pably.com so your obvious question is why public.com? Well, we have an app called as Public Connect that will integrate Jira and Freshdesk. So this is the website of public.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. Now, before I create a new workflow, there is uh, something I have to do. So as you can see, I already have created a workflow that uh, connects Jira to uh, Freshdesk. Now I'm going to switch off this workflow. Okay, the reason is we are going to create a new workflow and there is this old workflow. So it will create a duplication of results. So to avoid the duplication of result, I have switched off this workflow. So let me just click on create workflow. Okay, so we have to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Jira to Freshdesk. Let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow from scratch. Now, if you want to replicate or clone this workflow, I will make sure the link of this workflow is available in the description box. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Jira because we want to send the data from Jira. That is why Jira it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new issue? New issue is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new issue is created in Jira, then what action should be taken by the system? Now we do have a ton of uh, trigger events like issue updated, new comment, comment deleted, issue deleted, sprint created. All of them are bunch of trigger events. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I basically want to send the data when a new issue is made in Jira. So let me just click on connect with Jira software. In the new credentials, we have to fill in the email as well as the API token. So let's start with the easy one. So this is my email. Okay, so basically this is the same email with which I have registered in my Jira account. And now coming to the API token. So to get the API token, let's have a visit to Jira. So this is my Jira account. Let me go to the profile. And here you will find the option called as account settings. Click this. 
Okay, so this is my account settings page here. All you have to do is just click on security. Okay, so here you will find the section called as API token. Let me just click on create and manage API token. So basically we have to create a new API token. Okay, as you can see, I have created a ton of them. Now for your consideration, I'm going to create a new API token. Okay, so we have to create a given name. I'm going to give it as a fresh desk ticket because we are actually going to create a ticket from this issue. Okay, you can give any random name according to your choice. So let me just click on create. Okay, so basically this is your API token. Let me just remove this privacy and copy this. So this is the API token that we have copied and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the API token. So let me just click on save. Okay, so as you can see, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. Now in the usual scenario, we basically copy this webhook URL and paste it into the triggering software. Here we don't have to do it. We basically have to fill all this blank and just click on save and send test request to start receiving the data. So for example, we have to fill in the domain. So basically, this is my domain. So let me just show you the domain. So this is my domain. I'm sorry. Okay. This is my domain. I've just copied this. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the domain now coming to the name. So basically, we have to assign a name to your webhook. So I'm just going to give a name random name. How about um, fresh, freshy ticket. So this is the name of my webhook URL, of course, just a random name. And now coming to the JQL filter. So basically, what we are going to do, we have to select a project in Jira from which the issue data will be created. So basically, uh, so as you can see, we have a ton of projects, okay, for example, bug tracking project, public connect project, error fixing motorhead, code error mapping. So I have a ton of projects. So basically, the idea is that once an issue is created in this particular project, the data will be sent. So I'm selecting the project as bug tracking, okay. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, now this is not complete. So before uh, we completely paste it, let me just uh, copy this part up to here. Okay, not up to here, up to here. Okay, copy this also and paste it in front of bug tracking. Okay, so we have uh, made sure that the project is uh, basically bug tracking. So the project is bug tracking. Okay, so once an issue is created here, the public connect will have to capture the data. So as to ensure that public connect captures this data, let me just uh, click on save and send test request. Okay, so this is the API response is showing that we have successfully integrated with this particular project that is bug tracking. Okay, so what we are going to do next is we are just going to click on capture webhook response. So this will ensure that anytime a new issue is created in Jira, it will start capturing the data. So let me just create a new issue. So the summary of the issue is uh, C++ uh, programming error. So let me just create this programming error in Windows 10. Okay. The while loop is stuck is uh, stuck due to excessive and incomplete brackets just a random description that's all and let me just click on create okay so an issue has been created c plus programming error in windows 10 okay so let's have a look since public connect is integrated with this project in jira has it captured this data or not okay so as you can see the data has been captured so let's have a look so let me just uh, scroll down okay let me just scroll down even more okay so let us uh, explore okay so as you can see this is the summary c plus plus uh, programming error in windows 10 and then we must be getting the jiru jira description okay okay so this is the jira description the while loop is stuck due to excessive and incomplete brackets so we have got both the summary as well as the description sufficient enough to create a ticket in fresh desk so to create a, a ticket in fresh desk let me just introduce one more window okay so in the choose app how about we make it as fresh desk okay fresh desk it is now in the action event how about we make it as create tickets for existing contacts and let me just click on connect with fresh desk in the new credentials, we have to fill in the API key, the Freshdesk account password, and the Freshdesk subdomain. So to get the API key, let me just take you to Freshdesk. So this is my Freshdesk account. And let me just go to the profile. Okay. And let me just click on profile settings. So basically, this is my API key. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. 
Okay, so this is the API key. Now coming to the Freshdisk account password. So to get the Freshdisk account password, all you have to do is uh, just type in the password with which you have logged in. Okay, so this is my password and I have entered it. Now coming to the Freshdisk subdomain. So this is your Freshdisk subdomain, all the characters after HTTPS and in front of dot Freshdisk. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the API key, then we have entered the Freshdisk account password and of course we entered the Freshdisk domain. So let me just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create a ticket in Freshdisk from the data that we have received from Jira via Public Connect. So in the description, let me just introduce you to this button. This button is called as the mapping button. When we click this, we will find all the details that we have received from Jira. So the description was something, okay, so let me just uh, scroll down. Okay, so the description, okay, so nope, nope, nope. So it was something related to while loop. Okay, so let me just map in this, okay. And uh, the subject, I'm basically going to map the summary. So summary was related to C++ programming. So let's just search like this C++. Okay, so this is the summary and basically now our subject. Now coming to the email. So as you can see, it is showing a ton of emails. So basically these are all the contacts. So let me just show you all the contacts. So the idea is that we are going to create or issue a ticket to a particular person so that he can sort it out. And uh, let me just uh, take you to all contacts. Okay. So these are all the contacts and the idea is that my favorite friend that is Louise Kark, she is going to uh, work on this ticket. Okay, so this is the one person that she that is going to work on the ticket. So we have selected it. Now in the status, I'm keeping it as open and the priority is of course low. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we have into the description, mentioned the subject, entered the email, status is kept as open and the priority is kept as low. So all we have to do is just click on save and send test request to create a ticket. So let me do that. Okay, so the API response is showing the ticket has been created. So let's have a look. So let me just uh, go to Freshdesk and click on ticket. Yes, we do have the ticket C++ programming error in Windows 10. And uh, it has been allotted to this person called as Lewis Clark. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this uh, ticket shows that we have successfully integrated Jira and Freshdesk with help of Public Connect. Now, before we leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize my action window and let me minimize my trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Jira to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Freshdesk. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Jira and Freshdesk. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Public Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.